welcome back to the channel everyone and uh, today we got something really exciting to dive into we're going to explore the intricate details of the armor core 6 photo mode so let's not waste any time and jump right in before we get into the nitty-gritty let's discuss what the armor core 6 photo mode is all about firstly this is FromSoft first photo mode which is quite exciting to see especially when we missed out having one in Elden Ring I'm about over 50% of the game and you can tell the way the photo mode has been designed in this game the main purpose is to focus on the mech epic battles the senior is stunning on each mission but it's not the focal point they probably envisage regardless whether you are an aspiring photographer or just a gamer who loves to appreciate the in-game scenery this photo mode is perfect for you please note that Nvidia GeForce experience did not work for me at the time of recording. So, how do you access photo mode? While in game, you pause the action and navigate to the settings menu. Look for the photo mode option and voila, you're in. Sadly, there is no shortcut and it's quite disappointing um, given that the focus is on action shots. Um, I feel this sh a shortcut is always required so you can quickly tap the button and open the photo mode straight away. On PC I have binded the keystroke so that it can enter in photo mode automatically when I um, use my D-pad. The controls of the photo mode are pretty much stock standard. I have added the PS5 button mapping for your reference. Now comes the exciting part, customizing your shots. Armacot 6 offers some good and not so good options to fine tune your photos. The photo mode is divided into 7 tabs, which I'll cover one by one now. Your first tab is called camera. This is your starting point for your photo composition. You have tilt, not being restricted, which is great, but the fov is definitely not what I expected. It feels close to Final Fantasy 16, but again, so you are likely to end up taking more close-up shots than anything. I think it would be nice to have the grid lines to help out newcomers getting used to a few concepts like rules of thirds as well. The next step is called lens. This is the depth of field. I felt that the depth of field was a bit clunky. Um, at times when I wanted to um, use it, um, there were certain parts of the mech that were blurred out which I didn't want to do it, but the range was not significant um, to help adjust that unless I came closer to my shot. Um, I ended up basically just pulling the slider all the way to the right so that I didn't have anything blurred out on my shot and uh, relied on reshade and cinematic doff on PC to have a better effect. The next step is picture. This section is the standard editing, where you can control some of the exposure, brightness, contrast of your shot. I was surprised to see here, but there has been rare moments I have used this feature to be honest. I feel hue would work much better in combination with the next step called color filter, however it still wouldn't meet the minimum requirements in my opinion. Um, the the thing is if you want to emulate what the editing software would do you probably would want to have um, all colors listed down with the three sliders which will be hue, luminance and saturation that would give you a far much better control in terms of what you can do with your photo as, as previous mentioned color filter is the next step um, I haven't particularly used this section at all I tend just to skip it so we move on to the next one which is called glow filter. This is one area where I spend most of the time. Um, so you have three sliders here, uh, one for range, smoothing and the intensity of the glow of the shot. So that's great for, in particular when the, the screen is pretty busy and hectic with a lot of explosions, you can get that kind of glow kind of coming through the, you know, the fire and so on. Um, it's great for more cinematic kind of action shots. Um, the next tab is blur. Now this is a section of field they missed a great opportunity here. The blur just doesn't work in my opinion. Unless you do a very subtle motion blur effect, um, other than that it is not well implemented. 
I would love to see some predefined blur settings like radio blur, directional blur um, and so on that would help you kind of get some cool effects on your on your shots. The last section is called glare and bloom. Similar to glow, this you can further enhance the bloom around the scenery in your character. Um, I tend to use more the glow than this section and but I still do some minor tweaks here. So you've taken the perfect shot, so what's next? Sharing. Um, Amoco 6 Photo Mode allows you to export images in high resolution formats. On console you press the share button on Xbox or PlayStation controller. And on our PC I just use the F12 as per Steam. Just remember to tick the box for uncompressed images off. Um, so that um, the images are kept in high um, quality. And there you have it folks, a comprehensive guide to Amoco 6 Photo Mode. It's not just about capturing moments, it's also about you guys creating your own narrative within the game universe. Um, so grab your virtual camera, start snapping those epic shots, and thanks for tuning in. Until next time, happy gaming and happy photography.